Our new modernised democracy is based around the Parliament app, which is used for voting to make it more convenient, but also to ensure voters are fully informed with summaries of party manifestos, party voting records and more statistics. Opponents of this modern system argue that those less able with computers will be left behind. However, with better education and a last-minute snail mail alternative, nobody will be excluded. Some also stress the threat from hacking, yet with secure shopping and banking increasingly taking place online, it is no longer possible to argue that technology is not sufficiently advanced. The new legislature will be a time cameral system with three different Houses of Parliament. All three Houses can initiate legislation, amend and block, although the Congress of Skills can only block for six months. The first, the Aqua Senate, is a dominant House in which the government is drawn from and will be elected using proportional representation. The advantage of a proportional system is the greater voter choice, as whereas in first past the post it is damaging for your side of the left-right spectrum to vote for a smaller party, thus splitting the vote. In PR, you can vote for smaller parties and not worry about the consequences, which is particularly important given that one-third of people do not feel represented by either of the major parties. Although proportional representation tends to lead to more unstable coalition governments, this could be a positive as it prevents the executive dominating parliament, forcing through even the most unpopular of bill. Crucially, the Parliament Act allows citizens to adjust their votes for the Act of Senate at any time. This means governments have to be more representative to public opinion of fear losing valuable seats when the composition of the House is updated every month. Although some might argue this would be just as chaotic as de democracy, the government's paralysed, unable to pass unpopular bills for fear of a collapse. However, opinions of the public as a whole do not shift on such a scale in response to one of events, and so although a majority may be reduced, it is unlikely that a single decision could topple the government. Being able to adjust the legislature's composition at any time allows a check and balance by the public on all issues and prevents abuse of its mandate by the executive. It also binds politicians more firmly to their promise, as a broken promise can be punished mid-term in this new aqua system. This is particularly significant as 64% of non-voters attributed broken promises as the reason for not voting, so the Aqua Senate should lead to much higher politician trust and therefore turnout. The second house, the Congress of Skills, is made up of elected representatives from the various sectors of the economy, from teachers and doctors to scientists and lawyers. This acts as a source of expertise for the government to scrutinise their legislation and recommend policy. However, the House can only block laws for six months. The professions represented and their relative proportions are decided by an independent body. The third House, the Local Assembly, is made up of representatives of regions, elected by single transferable vote. This allows the composition to be reasonably proportional, to give for greater voter choice and to allow multi-member constituencies which can represent a greater variety of people in a region. This House allows local issues to be represented. In conclusion, compared to the obvious disadvantages of first-past-the-post in the UK, our new system will provide a much closer representation of the people's views and more scrutiny of the power of the executive.